So what is this game, Punk? It's Chained Echoes. Uh, it's basically a new indie, newer indie RPG that came out this past year. And uh, it's actually really good. It's got a lot of Chrono Trigger vibes. It's got some Final Fantasy Tactics vibes with the story. It's got some good shit going on here. Um, it's got turn-based battles, if you didn't catch that already. There's some mech shit going on, when, so it feels a little Xeno Gear-ish with that. So There's a lot of amalgamations and combinations of different battle systems and art styles and systems in this game in general uh, that are just... It's just really fun to play. I like this game. Anyway, your highness, disordered, we have raised taxes in all regions. This led to riots in Basil and five other villages, but we were able to stop them all in time. Good work, general. Is something the matter? If you'll allow me to speak frankly. Go ahead, general. In times such as these, any opinion is welcome here. Well, there's a growing resentment among the population. Even our own citizens are on the verge of revolting. Everyone thought the war was over after the battle against Escania, but now the circumstances are even worse than before. People have to pay higher taxes, but at the same time, take in less because all the young people are being conscripted. Resistances keep appearing, and we have to make examples of them. Your Highness, for many years we have dreamed of seeing our flags raised on the walls of Farnsport and Warnshire. But now they're obscured by all the bodies we're hanging. Damn. As your advisor, I have to ask this question, your majesty. Is this austerity really necessary? Our army is strong enough. After all, we possess the Grand Grimoire. Moreover, in addition, General Godfrey, General Elena, and General Kenrich now command the powers of the Grimoire. They alone are as powerful as an entire army. So, that's what you think, huh? What about the rest? My prince, well, I, well, I'm a bit confused, your highness, but it might be due to my age. I see. Generals, if you think that we are war against only Nebrelia, you are wrong. Escania and Gravo still hate us. Just because we are their new masters does not mean these dogs are going to eat out of our hands. We will not be able to negate their century-old hatred so easily, but we can prevent it from being manifested into violence against us. With their drained bodies, they can do nothing. Once their will is shattered, they will be begging for scraps at our tables, as the dogs they are. I understand, Your Majesty. Furthermore, we only want to use the Grand Grimoire in emergencies. In the upcoming battle against Nebrelia, your newly obtained powers will have to suffice, Generals. You don't plan to use the Grimoire? I beg you to reconsider. I've made my decision. Enough for today. I will retire to my chambers. As you wish, Your Majesty. Yeah, that's right. You better listen, bitch. Majesty said so. Who the heck is this guy with his hair? Welcome back to New Wernshire, Sir Victor. What the f bird face? This time accompanied by a few more people, squack. <laughs> this gentleman is Lord Sand Sandar. He helps us restructure Wernshire as Ring Frederick wishes. Oh, well, well, at last we meet, Sir Victor. We missed each other last time. I'm a great admirer of your plays. No one else manages to breathe so much life into such imaginative characters. The pleasure is all mine. I've devoured your play about the great master Birdhold several times, but, but say, did it really happen like that, or is it simply a work of fiction? Many people ask this of me. However, it remains a secret. Maybe I'll reveal it in my deathbed. On my deathbed. Maybe. On the deathbed of the Nar. <laughs> that could take a while. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Lord Sandar, Bishop Zacchaeus wishes to speak with you. Of all the times, I hope we get another chance to talk. I'll take my leave. Alright, weird clown hair guy. Huh? Hmm. Stop staring at my girl. You creep. Well then, Terran's gone, sp a spy is gone. I think I know what business you are here on, Sir Victor. My opinion hasn't changed since last time. But my offer has only expanded. Sir Victor, you want to destroy the Grand Grimoire and Terran's reign of terror over Volandis, and I'm with you on that. But King Frederick rules with a harsh hand. The people are exhausted and starving. Resistance groups are springing up like mushrooms everywhere. 
In the last two months, I have vis been visited several times by such groups. They asked for my support. My answer was always the same. It's useless. We have no chance. My, armor has been re my army has been reduced to 50 men, and I only own three airships. I am a puppet of King Frederick. How are a dozen starving rebels supposed to change this situation? So, Sir Victor, tell me, why should I give you any different an answer of an answer than I gave to them? Because my offer is anything but starving rebels, and because I'm not asking you for men or weapons either. We need permission to fly under your flag and place to base ourselves. And a place to base ourselves. That's all we want. Lady Bran, our plan is to destroy the Grand Grimoire. Surely we will need a troop need a troop to create a distraction in the palace while we advance for the stone, but we will recruit these men ourselves. And how will you do that? Even your personal wealth has its limits, and for reasons other than gold, no one will follow a writer such as you into battle. Allow me to interrupt, Lady Bran. There's even more to offer you. Wait, aren't you, Squat? Princess Celestia Valkyrie of Terran, I am at your service. The princess is fighting on our side. On our side. My brother must be stopped. Or on your side. On our side. <laughs> if you fear for your head, then let the princess be your aegis before King Frederick. And do know what is better than one princess on your... Uh, and do you know what is better than one princess on our side? Two princesses. Wait, what? What do you mean, Squack? I am in contact with Princess Amalia. She leads a resistance group in Escania and wants to join us. Are you all serious? <laughs> That's not the voice, but... Furthermore, I, had not, I have not only an art airship to use for our cause, but also four sky armors. Ho ho ho! Sir Victor, only you can manage to make me laugh in these sad times. You've actually managed to ignite a spark of hope in me. Now then, you may fly under my banner and bring me Princess Amalia. Perhaps your troop will be able to change things after all. I will not fail you, milady. General Tormund, take Sir Victor to Hermit's Isle. It will serve as a base for him. For Princess Celestia, I will have the guest room prepared. No need, Lady Bran. I'll move in with Glenn and Sir Victor. You're putting yourselves in unnecessary danger. I would rather put myself than you in danger. If my brother finds out I'm hiding in your castle, it may have terrible consequences for you. I see your point. Very well, then. Let the light of destiny show you the right way. Thank you. And may the force be with you. Also, do not fucking disappoint me. Alright, we discovered a new fast travel location. I guess we now have a home base. Are we going to get some Sukadin shit up in here? Are we going to start recruiting people and shit? Because that'd be pretty interesting. So, this is supposed to be a former pirate island, huh? A little sunlight, damp walls, and a chill draft. I don't like this place. You only catch rheumatism here. It's not like we're here for a vacation. So I've arranged everything with Tormund. The last of the paperwork is done. Paperwork? We are now registered as official adventure as an official adventurer's clan. Here are our clan crests. What's a clan? Outside of Landis, adventurers organize themselves into so-called clans. It is a tradition that is slowly establishing itself here as well. As a clan, we have permission to fly around Volantis, fly armed around Volantis, at least to a certain degree. Correct. My dear Bothra, correct my dear Bothras, we are now registered as a clan called the Crimson Wings, and our leader is Glenn. What? You gotta be kidding me. Have you ever heard me joke? Well, you probably have, shh shh shh. Don't worry about it, it's just a name on a piece of paper. Why did you do that, Sir Victor? I don't possess any leadership qualities, nor do I have the charisma. No charisma. <laughs> Indeed, but even without those, you're the best recruiter for new allies in our lines. As the best Sky Armor pilot, you're probably the most capable fighter in the whole country, and you can certainly impress the people with that. Do you really believe that? In the end, we'll make the decisions together. Let's take care of Princess Amalia first. Our contact is waiting for us in Basil. He will bring us to her highness. All right, let's set up camp here and leave afterwards. Sir Victor, uh, do you have a moment? Sure. Man to man. Tell me, what's the real reason? What do you mean? 
You wanted my help to travel to the Kindred Monastery. You searched for me all over Volandis to fight against the Grimoire, and now you choose me as your leader. Why all this? There's no reason, Glenn. Please tell me the truth. There is a reason. You wear two amulets around your neck. They're life anchors, aren't they? The jewel in the amulet is connected to the soul of a person and glows when you approach them. It can't be used as it can be used as a compass. And one of the amulets always shines in my presence. It's probably how you found me in Flandern. Why do you possess such a thing? <laughs> Where do you get this knowledge, huh? You're right. But sorry, Glenn, I can't tell you more than I already have. I'm our, I'm under an oath, and it's also best for your health. That's about the kind of that's about the kind of answer I was expecting. I can promise you, though, that you'll definitely get your answers. Until then, we should just stay alive. Shh, shh, shh. I can probably ask all I want, and you'll keep quiet. So fine, I won't ask any more questions. Thanks, Glenn. But for now, let's unpack our stuff and move on to Basil. New side quests available. All right, now I'm a licensed clan. Which allows you to travel through Volantis armed with your airship. You can travel across the world map to find new locations or revisit er previous areas. You can call your airship from an outdoor environment, if the story allows it, by pressing the back button. Around the world, there are people who would love to join your clan. Find them and invite them to Hermit's Isle. Some of them have certain abilities that can contribute to your party. So this is how we get more party members. It is turning into some suking and shit. Alright. Now you have my attention. Sometimes you'll get a notification that new side quests are available. You can view the starting point of each quest by checking the world map. You can do this while flying with your airship or while in teleport menu. Got it. Dope. I'm actually pretty hyped about all of this. Let's talk to my homies. Victor can't reveal the reason yet, but you'll understand one day. Thank you for trusting me, Glenn. Maybe he has, like... Maybe he has that thing, like, in, uh, like, the unbreakable vow, you know, like they have in Harry Potter, where if you break the vow, you die, basically. Maybe there's some unbreakable vow shit going on here. So if Victor tells me what the, what he, what he promised, he'll, he'll die. Until the promise is fulfilled or whatever. Something like that, you know? I wonder how far off I am from actually being right on that. I guess we'll have to just wait and see. So what's up, girl? Have you noticed that Rob isn't insulting us as often as before? It started when we agreed to help him rescue Len from the Aurora. Yeah, because he likes us and he doesn't want to admit it. So he just acts less like a douche, but only slightly less. So yeah, we have a home base now. This is pretty cool. I'm kind of just exploring it. There's our kitchen. There's our kitty, apparently. Meow, orange kitty. Adorable. He can represent my actual new orange kitty that we have in the house. And yes, we just got a new... Well, we have a litter of kittens in the house if I haven't informed people about that. Um, we're taking care of them until they're of age to give away. But we currently now have homes for all three of the other kittens. Because we're going to keep the orange one and give the other three away. And we now have homes for all of them. So that's cool. Um, that just circled me back around upstairs, which is fine. Where the hell did Len and Rob go? Len and Rob. <laughs> it's called a leader of kittens. Okay, not a litter. Oh, I'm sorry. Here's our other part of our leader of kittens. You know, like like a leader of cola. Can I get a leader of cola? Hey, do we have any leader of cola? Sorry, we don't have any leader of cola. We're all out. <laughs> huh. Man, there's going to be some interesting stuff at our home base. This is going to be cool. There's lots of empty rooms right now, but I think this will fill in as we get more people and more services and such. And such. Searching for princess. Search for the contact in Basil. Basile. Oh, here's where our mechs hang out. That's cool. That's our parking garage, if you will. All right, let's get the F out of here, huh? Let's get on with the show. Get on with the show, little hoe. What is this cave? Oh, okay. Comes out there. Gotcha. Didn't realize there was going to be two exits there. Makes sense. Is there a map for this place? Nope. That whole island thing reminds you of a game where you're flying around with a ship and could fight with it against enemies. Sky Pirates or something like that. Very old game. Well, I haven't played it in its entirety, but I have played the beginning of the game way back in the day. But I'm assuming you're talking about Skies of Arcadia. And if it's older than that, then I don't know. 
Huh? What are you doing here? I was waiting for your arrival. I knew that your group would come to this island. You knew? How? Are you a fortune teller or what? Because I'm a fortune... Wait, what? How did you know? Are you a fortune teller yourself? How's this possible? You're asking a lot of questions for being a fortune teller. Damn it, I was too slow. This clan's already taken by a rival. <laughs> Actually, it's not. I'm no fortune teller. You are not? Uh, uh, you're not! Of course I know. Of course I do. Uh, so let me, uh, let me lend you my talents. I can find you your destiny on this continent. She probably took a long voyage to get here. We can't turn her down, can we? I guess not. As predicted, I find myself a little nice little place to do my business. Come and visit me anytime. Congratulations, Falora joined the clan. You can pay her money to receive clues on where to find new recruits for your clan. Oh, okay, cool. So not all the recruits are going to be useful in fights. Some of them will be just recruits for our base, which just makes it all the more like Sukadin. Kind of awesome. I'm actually pretty hyped about this this uh, this part of the game right now. This island should be perfect for your clan. If you want to get off from here, you should call your airship. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Skies of Arcadia is actually an RPG that I've been meaning to do on my channel for a very long time. It's just kind of getting pushed further and further down the list with all these other games I want to play. But I would love to play it someday. There are mushrooms growing on this island that I haven't seen before. Maybe I can use them for a new concoction. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Maybe you can get a little high. Want to get high? This island's great. If you find me the men, I might build a little port for our airships. Find you the men, huh? Man, we might have to go around and do some fucking recruiting. Oh, tell you tell you when you want to watch me play Skies of Arcadia? I have no idea when right now, Martin. It's all, It's been on my long-term to-do list for years, so... I have no way of answering that question for you right now, unfortunately. It's just a someday. It might. It will happen. I want to play it. All right. So, what am I learning right now? I want to learn. I want to learn health points booster. I think. I'm cool with that. Then I'm gonna have her learn. I don't really care about this third eye move so much. Heavy strike. You know what? I'll grab that. Um, he already has all his moves, so what do I want to learn? On top of that, do I want any of these? Earth attack, earth killer, earth resistance, or ether killer, not earth killer. I might just give him, like, some magic up, I guess. What are these ones again? Inflict blind on all physical attack three times on somebody who's paralyzed. Let's do... Let's just bump up her attack in general. Bathraz can learn Dispel or Berserker. No thank you. Blind or Silence Resistance or TP Gain up. Let's just give him some magic plus four. That sounds dope. And then you have Herbal Medicine or Charging. Um... We can just learn one of these other things. Uh, let's learn uh, attack plus two, I guess. All right. Cool beans. Don't want to change anything. Does anybody have any sets that I want to change out right now? Probably not. Nobody's mastered anything yet, so I'm not in a hurry to switch out anything until I've mastered some of these side job things. All right. Well, I guess that means we're going gallivanting across the world. Where do we want to go first? We got options. We got side quests at a couple different places. Where are these side quests at? Uh. Tormund. Uh, I don't see side quests there. Roland Fields. Roland Fields is where we need to go. Katara Mountain Range. Your woods. It doesn't really show where the side quest is at. It just shows it on the map over there, but it doesn't show. Hold on. Show quest info. 
how do I? I wanted to show quest info like all the time. It doesn't have side quest info though. Is that to-do list on your map real or is it just for show? The one on the right over there, I'm pretty sure it's just for show. I don't think it actually does anything. Uh, how do I go into my airship? Select button? Ah, here we go. Ah! There's even a world map in this game, y'all. This is pretty dope. Oh, I see. I get it now. The side quests are in places that I haven't been yet. But this is pretty cool. We can fly around and explore the world now. This is pretty fucking cool. Pretty fucking cool. Go to Tormund. This is pretty dope. Apparently there's the Kindred Monasteries over here. You know what? I want to go here real quick. Why? Because there's a thing here that I'm not sure if I can do yet. Hold up. Can I go into my mechs? I can't go into my mechs here. There's a fucking... Uh... I know what I'm looking for. It's over here. Right? I just don't know if I can do anything to this place yet. Is it over here? I forget where it was at. But in this place, there was a one of those statues where I can pray to it. But I don't know how you're supposed to get to it. That was the main problem. And you can get another job class out of it, you know? Where was that at, man? Was it up here? Oh, here it is right here. Oh, my God. I completely missed this spot. Well, then. I found it. Don't worry, guys. I found it. Yes, I would like to pray. Thank you. Get ready for a fight. I greet ye, adventurers of Philandis. My voice, echoing through thy heart, shall bestow upon thee the power of the ages, of ages long gone by. Prove thyself worthy, and thou shalt receive the gift. Alright, this should be fun. Okay. Uh, these guys and these guys. I want to get rid of the white gin first, I think. So, do it. Do it. Show them the power of the dark side. These guys are weak to wind, weak to fire, weak to water, so... This guy's weak to f fire back here. This is the one I want to kill, so... Yeah, get him. Get him. Get him, Buddha, get him. Alright. Uh, let's do... I'm going to do his move. Because that'll weaken them all. Yep, it's a white wine gin and a red wine gin. That's what they're called. The white and red wine gins. They come out of red wine and white wine bottles, which is pretty funny. It's a pretty funny uh, enemy design. I like it. Uh, I'm going to do a defense buff here. And we're going to pedal storm this bitch. See ya. Nice. Don't you kill him. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I got a heal, boy. Alright. Let's do... You know, let's do the healing. Uh, that one. The regen HP healing. It's X slash the red wine one now. We're going get to rid get rid of red wine boy next. Red, red wine. It is going to die next. Red, red wine. I'm going to murder your head with some red, red wine. This battle would have been tougher earlier. I'm kind of glad we uh, were doing this late. I can't steal from these guys. Well, disappointing. Petal storm it is then. See ya. Right. Now we just have the seahorse knights to deal with. Good stuff. 
Let's bring him out here, have him do some work, shall we? Get some poison action. Okay, these guys are weak to wind, right? Yeah. Alright, uh, we're good. Let's just, uh... Let's arms break, these fools. Break your fucking arms tonight. Give me something to break. Yo, arms. Yo. Crit buff on everybody real quick just to get us out of the overheat for a moment. Wow. What happened to that guy? Did he... He must have died from the poison. He just fucked off real fast. Alright. Uh, X-Slash. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, victory, okay, okay, mm. okay, okay, That's gonna get us a new job, which class will it be? Ye have mastered the challenge, brave warriors, and proven thyself worthy. Accept the emblem offered by Olivian, the monk. Now go forth, brave warriors and curious adventurers, for thee are the future of Eldrea. So we got the monk class, huh? Alright, let's see what that's about. I'm excited. Let's see what that's about. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, monk. We have herbal bruise, which cures all status ailments, and we have raises agility by 15% for everyone. Oh my god, that's awesome. Uh, that's actually pretty fucking dope. Um, who do I want to put that on, though? These three guys don't, uh, oh, uh, oh, he still has, oh, I forgot I had this on somebody else. Uh, let me put this on you. And I'll put the speed up one on her, I think. I'll just put it on her. That's fine. Monk Monk goes on her. That's fine. Wait, what stat buffs did I get for that? Plus you get counterattacks and HP up. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. This is what we want. This is what we want. This is what we want. This is what we do. This is what it is. This is what we do. This is what it is, baby. Dragon killer and attack up. I think I'd rather have ooh, crit damage up, bruh. Counter agility up? Who gives a fuck about that? Crit up, crit damage up, undead killer. I want counter attack and I want HP. I want the counterattack for sure. I might leave the attack up and leave that alone. But Undead Killer, we can switch. Eh, I'll leave it on Undead. If I want Dragon, I'll swatch it, switch it later. I don't know what kind of enemies we're going to come across first. So, SOS attack up. He doesn't have anything else to put there. Uh, I'd probably rather have Poison Resistance over Water Resistance. TBH... HP sacrifice and heavy strike. Yeah, okay. I'm good for now. We good. All right, cool. So I got my uh, job class I wanted here. Let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? I was I was kind of annoyed that I didn't get that when I was here the first time, but I didn't want to forget about that. So I'm glad we did that. All right. So in terms of new places on the map, we have not actually gone, and it looks like these places have side quests. Let's check out New Wernshire first. At the very least, we'll have a fast travel location here, which is all I really wanted. But let's explore. There's a new there's side quest here. There might be some people to recruit here. Who knows? King Frederick has raised the taxes, but fortunately, the church is stepping in to help, so we can concentrate on rebuilding. This one god is very generous. The church is great. Without it, we would still be living in the ruins of Old Wernshire. And see, this church thing is the whole Final Fantasy Tactics thing I keep thinking about. Because the church is behind, like, everything of Final Fantasy Tactics. The tomb of Lady Reyna is somewhere here on Volandis. She is the holy mother of our faith. There is nothing more important than finding her resting place. Or maybe she's already been reincarnated in Alive, which we've already discussed. What's up, Bryce? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Doggo! Good boy. He did not seem very good. He barked at me. What a dick. Alright, we got the mess hall or whatever this is. Lucky me, I've got a chunk of meat in my broth. That's a fly. 
Well, better than nothing. Wow. I mean, you're right. Better than nothing. Can't argue with that, I guess. What's for dinner today? Soup with flies, apparently. Is this the first game? I mean, there's only one one game, Bryce. Chained Echoes. So, yes. There's only one game here. First you boil the water. Then you put in a potato. Afterwards, you need to salt it. Then you're done. Hmm, I'm out of salt. Well, soup will taste just as good without it. Only the natural flavor of a potato. Which means it's going to be bland as fuck. Pet that. Pet the kitty. This is not a hotel and you're not from here. I'm managing the beds for the townspeople of Warrenshire who lost their homes. This place is funded by the church. Good for you, sir. Good for you. He's like, fuck off. This is not a hotel. Bro, I don't need no hotels. This game heals me automatically. Have you seen the troop of platypus running around town? I bet they're up to no good. Troop of platypus? Not seen them. Not yet. Kitty! Pet the kitty. Once a week, the church holds a service. I love it. Everyone's allowed a sip of alcohol. Wow. The fucking wine. Everyone's allowed a sip of alcohol. Yeah, it's called the fucking sacramental wine. Someone told me that smoking's bad for your health. When I see the priests with their con consecration bells, and especially with all the smoke they breathe in, I don't believe it. Surely God would not impose unhealthy tasks on them. Surely. God would never dream of it. Never ever. Huh. Secret little pathway over here. Ooh, treasure. Leather breastplate. Uh, that's a pretty good defensive piece of equipment, I'm pretty sure. Is it better than the... Mm, it is better than the vest. I'll give it to her, and I'll put some new buildy stuff on it later when I upgrade it and such. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish looking around up here. Oh, this goes up to a new screen. Explore most of the area. Apparently, this is a two screener. All right. Treasure! Platinum ore. Ooh, that's a new type of ore. Probably for some level five upgrades. Scale armor. Another good piece of armor. We got a shop going on up here. Okay. Ooh, they got some stuff I might need. Good to see that. I haven't sold my loot in a hot minute. Um, let's do that real quick. Let's see what kind of wheat, what kind of Gavland wheels and deals we can do now. You were having lunch since you got the base. Only thing was exploring this place, right? Uh, I went and picked up the other job class I missed earlier too, DJ. I went back to the the shrine on the island, or whatever it was called, the monastery, and I picked up the uh, monk job class that I missed. Because I remembered that statue being there, but I did not get the job class because I didn't realize I could just walk right up to the statue. I just missed the staircase, apparently. At least I think I missed it. I actually don't know if I actually missed it or if I just couldn't go there yet. I don't know. Philandus does not lack raw materials, especially ores. We can't just... We just can't do with much with them, as we are constantly at each other's throats in endless wars. And if you're saying hi tomorrow, she is at work, so she's either lurking or listening or neither at the moment. But I'm sure she'll say hi if she is here. Petting the doggo. What's up, dude? Unbelievable, these stingy people. This upsets me tremendously. What's the matter? What's the matter? You don't look like you're from around here, but you must have heard that a part of Warrenshire blew up a little over a year ago, right? Yes, I guess I heard something like that. Many people died, but even more people lost their properties. That blast wave and the earthquake brought down many buildings. People who've already lost everything once should know how, just how important it is to protect their belongings, right? What are you getting at? Who are you? I'm an insurance agent, and I'm selling insurance policies. Oh, my God. What's in, what is insurance? What is insurance? How can you not know what insurance is? Well, I do know the word, but not, not how you sell insurance. What's with the rest of you? You don't know either? Nope. No idea. Oh, I get it now. No wonder people aren't interested in my offers. I might have to explain what insurance is first. Huh. <laughs> we better leave him alone and return to our base. Base? You're a clan? Perhaps. Do you own an airship? Maybe Sky Armors as well? We do. Splendid! Then you need an insurance policy. We do? Take me with you and I'll show you insurance po sell you insurance policies for a fair price. 
Do we really need them? Of course, they are essential for every clan. Um, okay, uh, fine with me. But you'll have to explain to us what an insurance is on the way there. Of course, marvelous! I can finally make some money again! Wow, guy joined the clan. We got some guy. Alright. Well, we found a recruit for our place. His name's Guy. We got the guy. His name is Guy. You know, when I walked up to him, I thought he was just called a guy because he was a guy, but he's actually a guy we're recruiting, so... We got Guy! I always found Guy to be a funny name. I remember when I first saw that in a video game, I was like, Oh, people can be named Guy? Oh. Uh, I think it was Fire Emblem, the first one on the, uh, on the Game Boy Advance. That's the first time I saw that. Also, we got a new... Spear called an Ear Spoon. What a name. I didn't find a new... Uh... Looking at mostly level 4 weapons other than for those two characters so far. Good shit. Good shit. I mean, Funky, the real fuck up is if you would name your daughter guy and your son girl. Now that would be pretty fucked up. You are correct. I would never. So did that count as my side quest in this area? Why can't I open the map? What the hell? It's because these fuckers are talking, that's why. Stop talking! Yeah, you never had a dapple and you're never gonna have one. The way you're talking, bitch. Alright, hold up. I'm gonna try to make sure I go in all the buildings and talk to every person around here. You never know. Like, pet all the doggos. You can't skip any doggos. Some people say that the mud is annoying and that it only hinders our work. I say, however, this mud is a symbol of the people's will! Do you see all the footprints and wheel tracks in the mud? Can you feel the work the people have put into rebuilding the city? The puddles are made out of blood, sweat, and tears of the hard-working Wernshires. Guy next to me really wants to introduce the slogan, New Wernshire, built on the mud of the people. He's nuts. Built on the mud of the people. Wow. That's quite a saying. Let's go up here. Hello. New Warnshire is not the prettiest sight to see, but I must admit, we are doing better than before the explosion. With the reconstruction project, we finally have a working sewer system. No more running through the cold to the outhouse at night. Sweet. Sewers. Poopers. Toilet flushes. Kitties to pet. Treasures to find. Sweets. Alright. Anything else up here? Hello, hello. Oh, okay. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't even realize I could do that there. I was just trying to go talk to the girl. Oops. Fuck that up. New Warnshire is being rebuilt thanks to the church. I'm sure they want us to convert their, to their faith, but they'll be in for a surprise. We've lived with the old gods for thousands of years, and it won't change that easily. We'll stay, still take your money, though. <laughs> Don't think we won't you spend your money regardless. The music here does go kind of hard. I haven't really been like focused on it, but... It is there, and it does go pretty get pretty hard back there. An elastic wing, huh? Alright. Good shit. There's another building over here we haven't been in. Hello. Ooh. Armor shop. Thanks to the church, we only have the best equipment. We can buy some level 5 weapons. Should I even buy these? I feel like I'm going to find all this shit eventually. And then I'm going to regret buying it. Also, there's new weapons for people we don't have. There's a gun and an anchor. Ooh. That's exciting. Ooh. Magic gear. We haven't found any of that yet either. It's like, I don't even want to buy it because I'm going to find shit. And I'm going to be salty that I spent money on it. I'd like to help rebuild the city, but Bishop Zacchaeus is sending me and a few others to Arkant. We're supposed to look for clues about the grave of a woman named Reyna. You don't say. I know, right? Jeez, jeez, game. Spoilers. Gorsh. How dare you? Let's see if I can upgrade the weapons that I have, though. The Spatha, yup. Spatha, yup. You can use that elastic wing I just picked up. Hell yeah. Ear spoon. I need more. I need another elastic wing for that. Alright, otherwise, I think we're good. I'm not even going to upgrade this one. We don't have enough ore anyways, but I'm going to hold off until we get her next weapon. Because we could buy it right now, or I can wait till I see if I find it. And that's what I think I will do. Because it may not be in this town, but we might find it 
you know, in a chest in another area we're going to go to soon. And I'll be like, well, fuck, why'd I buy that? You know? So let's not have that happen to us. And uh, let's go to the north side of town and try to find this side quest. Hey, I have the idea for a breakthrough invention, but I need 100,000 ARC to go into production. Huh? I should tell you the idea before you hand over the money? Oh, right. So that you can steal it? Forget it then. Okay. Yeah, that's how the things work. The bishop has offered a reward of 20,000 arc to anyone who contributes clues. If you find the exact location of the tomb, they'll, oh, they'll up the amount to 100,000 arc. But, well, I'm too busy building a new home for my family. What if I find it? Do I still get the money? What you got, merchant? You got snacks. You got stuff. We good. We're looking for Lady Raina's grave. If you have any clues, let me know. I'll pay you 1,000 arc. Bitch. I'll get so much more money off of that. I don't need to be buying shit from yo ass. Wow. These shops have a lot of stuff to buy. Like, uh, for materials if you need them. The church has been pumping its money into this region. They must really want to get a foothold on Volandis. Eventually, of course, they'll want the money back. But no one's thinking about that right now. Fuck them and their money. Use it. And what's this word here? G-O-D. Very good. You're learning fast. Wow. Fucking church service back here. Sunday school and shit. Alright. There's another doggo to pet. Bork bork. Alright. So what is this building? This looks like a little mini church situation. It even got a little puppet doll theater set up over here. That's uh, cool. Apparently nothing's in service right now. So don't have to worry about that. Hello. My heart belongs to the old gods, but this is it is this one god who gives us food, drinks, and ro a roof over our heads. I am so conflicted. Oh, uh, okay. The one god versus the true old god or whatever. Trees from Miranda are way too expensive. Oh, there's the run of platypus that run are running around, apparently. I just saw them walk by. Petting another doggo. What's up, dude? I'm a merchant from the Free City, so I've seen my share of strange things. There goes those platypuses. But here in Volantis, I've had encounters that top it all. Have you been to Basil? You might think me crazy, but I swear I saw a running carrot there. If you ever travel through there, through there, keep an eye out for it. A running carrot? Oh? Side quests. A little vacation. Oh, okay. Apparently the running carrot is going to be the side quest. I wasn't expecting that. Sure. Lucky for me, I'm actually headed to Basil next, so or at least for the story. If everything goes smoothly, we will soon have the Arnsreich as an investor. The deal has a bad feel to it, though. It is said that the pacifist regent King Hainman, Hainman, King Hainman the Twelfth, is trying to conquer other countries through economic infiltration. I have no clue what that means, but it sounds kind of bad. Yeah, he's trying to, he's trying to get your money, spend his money in your country, and get you to. Use your money in his country and make you dependent on his money. Does that make any sense to you? Probably not. Sunglasses. That's probably blind resistance if I had to guess. No entry. Leave. But I want in. Lame. Really not going to let me in. Ancient skull. I got 10, 11, 11 treasure chests. Oh shit. Did I just steal? Find the platypus's gang's treasure. I apparently just found an elixir. That's hilarious. Here's the question. Did I find that on the ground? Or did I find that inside the platypus when I walked by him? Because I was just mashing the X button. New Wernshire is nothing more than a few metal boxes built on mud. Supposedly there's just temporary housing. Supposedly. Alright, so speaking of that... I was about to say, I think Nur Wernshire is actually on the, the chart here, which it is. We already explored most of the area. We got treasures. We got we're stepping in here. I got to get eight class emblems. We need three more for that. My clan has levels. That's interesting. And we have a little vacation quest we picked up, so we'll have to do that. So the area that they were circling is actually where the treasure was at. Well, I got lucky AF there then, didn't I? Well then. I'm sure you're kind of salty that I found that so accidentally on purpose. That's what happens when you mash the X button when you're walking around, though. You find shit. Alright, so I'm assuming this is where the castle is, where that Queen Bran lady was at. 
King Frederick is allowing Gravo Gravos to have a small army. An army just big enough so that we can take care of our own inner affairs. Well, isn't that just so fucking nice of them? Lady Bran is the late Lady Parnella's sister. King Frederick allows her to rule over Gravos, but she has to follow every word he says. For now. Only a few parts of the castle remain intact after the explosion from last year. Not that one, apparently. I can't go that way. Only a few parts of the blah, blah, blah. Same shit. Different day. There was a treasure in, in Lady Brand's like, chamber thing. Yeah. I wanted that. Sacred water! Yeah, boy! Chill, boy! When I find another statue, I don't even need to do any more chains yet. I can't even talk to the queen? That's crazy to me. But alright. Bye. So, alright. Cool beans. We now have two things to work on. I like, you, I like that you can kind of cycle through your side quests. Can I fly from here? I can. Nice. Alright, cool. So we checked out New Wernshire. The other side quest that I want to pick up, I guess, is in another place we haven't been. 